Hi, I'm Dan, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up the review page we've given you to sell your Clickbank product. Today I've chosen the Underground Fat Burner Supplement. It's a diet supplement available on the Clickbank Marketplace that promises to help burn fat. Now you don't need to promote this exact product on your site, I've just chosen a random one to show you how the setup process works. You will need a Clickbank product of your own to follow along with this video, so if you haven't got one already, check out our Clickbank on Convertry course on how to choose one. So first of all we're going to grab the import link from this link page. We can preview the page to see how it looks. My product is a diet supplement product so I'm going to choose that template. Then we just click import to bring it into our account. And it will ask us to give the page a name and choose a domain for it. Now you can put any name you like, just make it memorable. And it's best if you put the page onto a custom domain. Again, if you're not sure how to set one up or you haven't got one, check out the Clickbank on Convertry guide which you can find in the training section of the app. Alternatively, you can check out the help doc we have called Custom Domains Start Here, and that's available in our knowledge base. Okay, so the page is now on our account, and we can go in and edit it so it's ready to publish. All you need to do is navigate to where you put the page, and click on it to open the page builder. Now we've got a lot of example text and images here, but remember, this product here is totally made up, so we'll have to change it to match the product I've got. First of all, let's edit the text itself. It's a good idea to turn on smart text for this. That means the text will flow around the other elements, preserving the layout of the page and meaning we won't have to arrange everything else all over again. So switch on smart text here at the top of the screen, next to the main page indicator. And now all we need to do is click inside the text element and add our text. Now with this, you can make as many changes as you want. You can use this template to guide your writing, but remember, the more original information you can give, the better. So for example, it's a great idea to buy the product yourself and try it out, so you can actually write the review the best you can. If that's not possible, then do check the vendor sales page for testimonials and information that you might need. So I'm going to make a few changes here to demonstrate how the text editing works. But remember, use the name of the real product you've chosen to promote and to change the details to match it. Next, I'm going to go through the whole text. Make sure the ingredients match the actual ingredients of my chosen product. I include relevant information and so on and so forth. Next, we'll swap out some images. Again, the best idea is to take your own if you've brought the product. Or second best is to use images the vendor has given you on their JV page. You can check the product listing in Clickbank to see if they've given you extra marketing materials. If they haven't given you the good stuff, you can still get away with some high quality stock images. Luckily you can find those right in Convertry. All you need to do is click on the image you want to swap out, then hit replace image in the properties panel. The image modal will appear, and here just click on Pixabay and enter a search term that matches your product. So I'm going to use a healthy woman. And then as you can see, here's a bunch of images we could use. I'll choose this one. Hit select to add it to your page, and Convertry will replace the image that was there with the new image, keeping the size and proportions. Now in this review page template, we have a results section, and this is the most important part of your review if you've bought the product yourself. If you've done that, fill out the text and replace the images as I've shown you. However, if you've not tried the product, it's best to get rid of this section entirely. To do that, just click here on the panel and hit delete, and that will delete the whole section. Now this means we've got a big gap on the page, but we can close it by clicking on the next element, holding down shift on the keyboard, and then dragging it back up. So when we hold shift and drag, the elements below the one we're dragging also move along too. Cool, so our page is nearly done. I'm just gonna click save to save our progress, and next we'll be filling out the SEO information. To do that, click on the page button to bring up those details and then go to Meta Info, and you can fill out the page title. So use something like your supplement name review and the current year. And then you can add a quick description for your page. Something along the lines of, read more to discover why this could be the supplement. 
or product you're promoting for you. You don't need to enter keywords, but they might help with your page's SEO, which is why and how your pages rank on Google. So enter some keywords to do with your product. And next we want a good open graph image. And this is the image that will be displayed when we share a link to Facebook or other social sites. So click on the social settings tab and it will bring up the image modal. It's a good idea to use an image that's already on your main page here. When you're done, click save and that will all be saved and then click done. Now next is a really important step, checking the mobile page. Now since we use the pre-built template layout, everything should look fine, but we do want to double check that before we put the page live. To check the mobile page, just click mobile at the top of the editor. As you can see, our page here looks fine without any adjustments, but you can move and resize around if you want to. You can also change the size of text on mobile by selecting the text inside the element and changing the size in the text toolbar. If you do make changes, like moving around elements, and you want to revert back to the originally rendered version, just hit Remobilize. Now hit Save again to save your progress and go back to the desktop version. And now is the most important part of the whole process, adding our hop link so we can get credit for the sale. So we get our hop link from Clickbank. Just click Promote on the product you've chosen and enter your Clickbank name. You don't need your tracking ID, just the nickname. Then click Create Hop Link. Finally, just click Copy next to your link. And next, we're going to place that link in the appropriate places on our review pages. So head back to your page tab. Scroll down to where it says Click Here to Order. Click on the element and open the Properties panel. Then click on General Properties and paste your Hop Link here. Now all we need to do is save and publish. So hit save one last time and then click publish. Choose a path for your page or leave it at the root domain. Now it's published, we can see the live version by clicking view page. That'll open it in a new tab. And as you can see, it loads super fast and it looks great. Now all we need to do is start sharing around the link to the page. So this link here to, to the actual page itself is the one you need to copy and put in ads and your marketing. And as you can see, once someone comes to your page and clicks the button to buy, you'll see it opens up the sales page and that's how Clickbank tracks the sale back to coming from your page. So congratulations, you've just published your first review page. Share the link to it to start making sales and best of luck.